That's it. That's a scene from the new movie, Real Steel, where in the near future, robots have replaced humans in the boxing ring. The world of boxing has evolved in a way um, that has been driven by fans' demand for more action, more violence, more blood, more sensationalized fighting. So could boxing, a sport that goes back to at least the ancient Greeks and probably a lot further than that, transform from Rocky to robots? Yeah, I would think like if the technology exists, and it doesn't seem to be like completely beyond the realms of possibility that I could absolutely see it. I think it would probably be a sideshow, you know, have like a little niche audience. Maybe it would be, you know, like tech nerds would really, it would be like their version of the big fight night. I don't know. In the movie, players control the robots either through their own movements or with handheld devices that look like futuristic video game controllers. Producers recruited real boxers to train actors and give animators accurate fighting movements. It's all about uh, putting the fighters in the right in the right uh, position. It's about the execution of the punch, a proper punch, a right. But also, I mean, these are robots too. So you keep that and and you take that in consideration. The fact that these are robots, and so they are stronger and they are a little bit more uh, destructive. Mulvaney notes that while boxing is not as broadly popular as it once was, there's still a strong interest in it. There is a little bit of a sense, I think, that it is the red light district of sports. And I think the people involved in boxing realize that it's kind of perceived that way. Partly because there's a perception that it's horribly corrupt, whereas it's much less corrupt than it used to be, of course, but um, when, the, when the mob ran it. But that's not a really great tagline, you know, watch boxing, it's less corrupt than it used to be. But it's just as dangerous. A recent study found that during the last 20 years, an average of 8,700 boxing injuries were treated in U.S. emergency rooms each year. The number of injuries increased 211% over that time period, from more than 5,300 injuries in 1990 to nearly 17,000 in 2008. The movie's premise is not that much different from TV shows like BattleBots or Robot Wars, which featured machines duking it out, their human operators controlling them like ringside trainers. Exactly. Well, that's what I was thinking about, actually, funnily enough. Exactly that. You know, and it got a great following, right? So you can kind of imagine, you know, if, if that graduates from there to Rock'em Sock'em Robots and then to perhaps something like this. Sure. Still, Mulvaney's not convinced that robots would ever completely take over the boxing ring, given how much humans typically enjoy watching two people beat the stuffing out of each other. There's just something primal in the desire to, to see whether it's right or whether it's wrong. You know, however one looks at it, there's, there's something in our DNA coding that seems to enjoy the concept of some kind of fighting. So would it ever take over? I have a hard time imagining that. For Discovery News, I'm Jorge Ribas. <laughs>